Alloy USA chromoly axle shafts, along with a set of their all new greasable X joints, are a great upgrade for any Jeep JK Wrangler running a factory Rubicon Dana 44 front axle. Unlike factory shafts that utilize C clips and over time can work themselves free, the Alloy USA X joints come with full circle clips, and this alone will help prevent a failure at the joint, the number one cause of front axle shaft breaks. In this short video, we'll show you how to assemble one of these shafts and get it ready to install on your JK. To start off, you'll want to take a flat file and use it to deburr the yokes of your shafts. Use a rounded file to deburr the edges of the yoke bores. After thoroughly cleaning your axle shafts to make sure they're free of any contaminants, apply a thin layer of grease to the inside of the yoke bores. Take one of the X joints and remove all the Zerk fittings using a 7mm wrench. Carefully remove all the bearing caps, making sure not to dislodge the needle bearings inside. Making sure that the Alloy USA logo is facing out and that one of the beveled ends is pointing up, angle the X joint into the bottom of the yoke and then tilt it into the top. In spite of the bevel, you may still find it necessary to give the X joint a light tap with a brass hammer to get it all the way in. Slip a full circle clip onto both ends of the X joint. Then, take one of the bearing caps and carefully insert it into the yoke. You'll want to make sure that the trunnion goes into it without disturbing any of the bearings. Using a brass hammer, give the top of the yoke a few taps to help seat the bearing cap. Carefully insert another bearing cap into the opposite side of the yoke and then use a shop press to press them all the way in. As you will see, the bearing cap on top will push in a bit further than the bottom and you'll want to get it in just far enough until you see this groove. Use a pair of snapping pliers to attach the full circle clip into this groove. Now, turn the axle shaft over and press the other bearing cap in until you can see the same groove. And again, use your snapping pliers to attach the full circle clip. At this point in time, the X joint may feel a bit tight and hard to move around. Take a hammer and give each side of the yoke a solid whack or two. This should help free things up. Now it's time to install the stub shaft. As before, you may find it difficult to slip the X joint into the yoke and a few taps with a brass hammer may be needed to help coax it in. Once in, slip a full circle clip onto both ends of the X joint. Take a bearing cap and carefully insert it into the yoke. Again, it's important that the trunnion goes into it without disturbing any of the bearings. Tap the top of the stub shaft yoke with a brass hammer to help seat the bearing cap, and then carefully insert the remaining bearing cap into the opposite end. You can now press everything in. Once the upper bearing cap reveals its groove, remove it from the press and secure it in place with a full circle clip. Finish pressing in the last bearing cap and secure it as well. Take a hammer and give each side of the stub shaft a solid whack or two, and then check to make sure that everything moves freely. Finally, reinstall the Zerk fittings, and then use a grease gun with a needle fitting and give all the bearing caps some grease. That's all there is to it. We now have a brand new Alloy USA Chromoly front axle shaft that's ready to be installed in your JK.